Hi friends, we will learn about SQLite's bulb data types. So here in this column we can store our binary data like images or any other uh, binary data we can store it. So photos, everything we can store this. Now let's just see how we will insert the data. Here is the application in a Kinter. I am just selecting a file here. This is a JPG image actually. I am selecting this JPG image and this data is added along with some other text columns are also there that is added and I have got a ID this unique row ID which confirms that the data is stored in the table. Now let us just see how it is displayed. By using the same ID we will collect the data from the database and here is the uh, image what you have uploaded. Along with that you can see the other data whatever we have uh, added also the name, the class and the mark all things are also. Uh, displayed. Now we will learn how we will insert the data and then we will move on to how to display the binary data in a Kinter window. First let us understand how to create the table. We are just importing here the our create engine then the for the error handling we are also importing SQL uh, alchemy errors and then in this line number 3 you can see we have just uh, created the database if it is already there it is a database connection only so my underscore connection is what you will be using in our inside our script so then because we are it is always better to use the error handling so you can clearly know what's the issue so inside a try and catch uh, a try accept block where we have kept the code to create the table. Here if suppose your student table is already there, this line will drop it. Now you can just comment it if you do not want to delete the table and the and here is it is the table is created second line and you note the most important thing is there are some other columns say id is a primary key uh, it will be auto incremented and the name uh, we are storing here name student name will keep student class then mark then gender and here is our important the photo the bulb column or binary large object where we will be storing the images so this column will be reading and a uh, inserting and displaying it now there is if there is no error this uh, then this table will be created if anything error is there this error message will be printed you can read it what the error is and everything is fine then we will get this message here is our uh, layout so as usual we are importing kinter then the file dialog because we will be pointing to a file in the local system so file dialog will use that then the basic layout of the window then this here both our uh, connection engine and the error handling and to sql database we are connecting here sorry it is uh, sqlite and then we have the labels here so and one label at the top we are saying upload file and add binary data only for a display purpose and that we are placing it on a grid and a button which will with one click of the button this will trigger the file here update upload file so that function we are written here and inside that our main stuff will go there where we will be handling the or uploading the binary data along with will other data will be inserting into our table now just up to this point let's just run it and see the blank window it should display yeah here it is now if i'll click also nothing will happen we'll right now we'll code those things we'll start coding inside our function uh, so far we have uh, we have understood the layout but if you feel anywhere it is little difficult or some confusion is there how these buttons and all have come up just leave it a, uh, in the comment section your views and all will again work on it so first let's start with file and this is the variable now file dialog file dialog we have already uh, connected it to it at the top you can see it here at the line number two we have imported it that's what we will be using this will open our <coughs> browser we can select our browser so we'll say ask open file name so this is the one what we will be using so this is just the we are just the path we are assigning it to the variable file that's all because it is a path only will be uh, pointing to a local system which file we want to open then when file object will create now we'll say open file that particular path and here rb rb means read in binary mode because this ex uh, this is an image which you are adding so we cannot write, read it in a text mode we have to use a binary mode so this we are using a write in binary mode so once we open this <coughs> we'll read that one now so for read that and read and store it the binary data so we'll saying i'm just giving a variable name 
bulb data binary large object or any name you can give it now i am saying file object read so now my i have this particular variable will store my entire binary data this data will store it will pass it to our table so store it so now let's just move below okay <clears throat> now binary data is available now what you will do we'll create a uh, one uh, list with the inside a tuple we'll keep it so that there we'll pass the whatever the data wants to go inside so let's just see it first none because there are six columns one two three four six columns are there in our table first one the id so we are giving none automatically the uh, our sqlite uh, uh, will assign the id for that so now i am just giving a name here you can write anything these are the data which i am expecting to pass along with my binary data so these are the text name i have given then the class column class is 6 then some mark i am giving 78 you can give anything then gender i am saying male and these are all text data now what happens now i am giving bulb data so this is the one the sixth see it is the one column one two is the name then class then mark then gender then photo this photo column will will hold this this particular data now what we will do this, let this data be there we'll pass it in separately now i'll create the query q i have given the variable name what i am writing insert into student student is my table name values values is now i will place the uh, use the placeholder so placeholder means i am giving this this particular same number of placeholders sorry mm, three now one more four one more five one more i will go so these are the placeholders this to this placeholders these data will pass so one by one so that's why exact it should exactly match here there are six data uh, are there so there are six placeholders i placed so my query is ready now i will create a try and accept block try is my so I, if any error is there i will able to catch it so i am just saying try sorry try now record set equal to this is where i am my connect my connection is uh, this is the connection object which you have already created at line number nine here it is you can see that i am calling using it here so record set my connection now this one i will execute now while executing i have two parts of it first the query and then data so i am sending data separately i am not you can ask me then why i am using this placeholders directly i can place the data there there is a security issue it is the to prevent the injection attacks and all it's a good practice always send the query and the data separately some of the time we'll discuss what is the how can data can be injected and uh, you can delete the table delete the record also that is why it is always a good practice to send it separately if you are testing in your local host or anything you are doing you can use directly the data also except now here i am giving the my error handling sql all came me error now what as e i am getting it as e now inside that i will write print the errors actually so i'll just move it up now i am saying error this is a variable only it's called str e dot d i c t underscore underscores now o r i g now this will now my i will capture the error what is written from the sql alchemy because this is a, this is the database error i will get it so then what i can do i'll just print the error it is printing in the uh, console so sorry error now i'll print it i'll come to know if i there is what is the message my uh, my database is returning so after this i will put it else suppose there is no error what i should do <coughs> means my try this particular com line is successfully executed there is no error now i will come back to here else l1 is the top whatever the label i have written or label or the text at the top whatever i have written that i will change it <coughs> config because any attribute of any widget i can use by config option i can change it so now that i will change the text part i will change it what i will do data added this is a string 
plus what I, as a confirmation to this i will display the id of it because the moment i am inserting these data you can see here this i am given none here what the my database will do is it will assign the next incremental id and give that value to that row and that id i am going to collect it here so for that purpose i am just this is a string then what i will do plus what i even saying record set or r set r set note that at uh, sorry it is r set okay it is at the line number 25 here it is you can see this here so this i am uh, using it here along with the method is last uh, row id last row id now this i will get it but note that this is what i will get it as a integer it is 1 2 3 4 like that it will come and here i am adding to a string so i have to convert it to string first by using str so str okay let me just complete this i will bring it inside a bit okay you can see here i have written okay now you can see that <coughs> i have given the last first i am getting the last id of that whatever the data just now i have inserted and that i am converting into string and then adding to this so i will get a number there now let me just save it open it and check let's click the upload file now the file browser should come up okay now here let us uh, this is a jpg file this one so I have selected it. Yeah, you can see the ID one has I got it. So moment it is ID one means data has already gone into the da database table. So I have it is a confirmation that the uh, uh, data insertion is successful. Now even we can test it. Let's just once more we will do that because there is no constraint in the name or class anything. Same data I am just adding once more. You can see the ID is two means the second record is also inserted. Now the next part we will see that how this whatever the images we have stored in our database, how that will retrieve and display that we will see it in the part two of it. And meanwhile, if you have any doubts, suggestions or anything or the detail layout, anything you are facing any issues, then leave it in the comment section. We love to answer your questions. And if you have any idea, also post it here. And next part, we'll see how to retrieve the data and display the same in our Kinter window. One request to you, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So you'll be notified as and when we add the our tutorials we frequently do that also and please share this video with your friends and thank you for watching